This vlog is all about Easter prep. I love eating sourdough. Making it from scratch? Never done that before. Nails are done! So if you're feeling low, one of the best things you can do is create a gratitude list. Getting my niece's Easter basket ready. A sourdough cookie recipe that I'm dying to try out. Wow! Is there more? Yes, there's a lot more. Ah, a piggy! Ooh, it's the perfect mix of salty and sweet. Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. I'm talking really fast because I'm in a rush. I've got a lot of things happening today, but all you need to know is this. This vlog is all about Easter prep. We only have a few days before Easter and I've got a lot of things to do before then. Gotta get my nails done, which is the appointment I'm heading off to right now. But before my nail appointment, I'm gonna try to squeeze into our local bakery and grab some sourdough starter. I've got plans for this sourdough starter if I can get my hands on it. And my phone is ringing. Oh my goodness, it's all kicking off. Okay, I think that's all I have time to tell you for now. I've got to scurry on over to the bakery, then to my nail appointment, and then I can fill you in on all the crazy things I've got planned for Easter prep. My sleeves are caught in my sleeves. It's the worst feeling ever. Got the goods with time to spare. So worried that I would be late to my nail appointment, but they actually had the sourdough starter ready for me when I got there. I just gotta find my keys. Why are they always at the bottom of your purse? Never at the top. I need to make keys that float. <laughs> now let's just hope there's parking by my nail appointment. Because the past couple times I've been there, there have not been. Maybe spending the next 10 minutes just hunting for a parking spot. <sighs> gotta love downtown Troy. Okay, before I go in, let me show you my sourdough starter. It looks different than I thought it would. I thought it would be more liquidy, but I guess maybe it will do once I start adding to it and feeding it. If I didn't mention before, I love eating sourdough. Making it from scratch, never done that before. And the reason I'm attempting it now is because there's a recipe, a dessert recipe that I'd really love to make for Easter. Apparently feeding your sourdough takes about five days, which is exactly the amount of days we have until Easter's here. I'm really cutting it down to the wire. I realize that. But you know me, if it's not a challenge, why even bother? I'm gonna stop chatting to you so I'm not late. I actually know what I want to do for my nails. I haven't decided on a color. No idea. I don't think I want to go pastel. That I do know. I also know I'm wearing a blue dress for Easter. So do I get nails to match that? That is the question. I'll put the Pinterest inspiration on the screen for you so you can see the comparison. I'm very happy with them. All right, nails are done. They look so good. My nail tech, Devin, always comes through. She does amazing. Anytime I come in there, I'm like, okay, I don't know what I wanna do, but here's some Pinterest inspiration. Can we work with that? And she's always game. She's always creative with it. They're perfect. I wanted to do something really fun and bright and colorful for Easter. If you're a Troy local looking to get some cute nails for yourself, definitely give her a call. All right, I feel like I can relax a little bit now. I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. I can just leisurely take my time going home. Ooh, but I do want to take a clip of these nails before I leave because it's light though. I'm just going to be doing this. Like any opportunity to show off my nails, brush my hair, you know, whatever you got to do. It's like when you have an engagement ring and you're trying to do everything you can to show off the ring. The same thing with nails. When you're that proud of them, you got to show them off. I just looked up and saw it's our neighborhood hawk. He always sits up there. 
It's a good little perch, I guess. Okay, I'm back home, and I'd like to look into how to care for my sourdough starter. I found some instructions on Pinterest that I printed out, so I figured I would take you along with me on the journey. I don't know what I'm doing, maybe we can learn together. Day one, combine one cup of whole wheat or rye flour with one half cup of water. Leave it uncovered for 24 hours. It's important to let air circulate, so it can capture the natural yeasts in the air. So that's today's job. Okay, that seems pretty easy. Could it be that easy? <laughs> I always felt like sourdough was this really complicated thing. Maybe it's just complicated because it needs so much attention. But hey, I'm willing to try. Let's go get a mason jar. Well, I found a jar. I just blew into it and dust spewed out. So I think I need to rinse it first. Okay, this is what we've got. I've mixed in the flour and the water and stirred it up as best I could. And I've covered it with a paper towel so air can still get in. And we'll just see how it looks in the morning. I don't know if I mentioned why I'm making sourdough starter in the first place. There's actually a sourdough cookie recipe that I'm dying to try out and it requires sourdough starter. Oh, no, actually it requires a sourdough discard. Allison Bickerstaff shared this on her Instagram the other day and the cookies looked incredible. Let me just read you the description of the cookies. Soft and fudgy. These sourdough chocolate cookies are made with three types of chocolate. Sourdough discard adds a delicious tang that perfectly balances the rich flavor of chocolate. And it requires espresso. That just sounds amazing. I'd like to make these for Easter because we have guests coming over. I find that I feel really guilty if I bake something just for me because I end up eating it and I don't want to eat them all, but I'd like to have a taste of it. So the balance for me is if I make it, knowing that a lot of people will consume it, I feel less guilty because I'll just have one or maybe two and then they'll be eaten up and out of my house before I'm tempted to eat anymore. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do when you're on a health journey, you know? But anyway, that is why I want to make this sourdough starter. I'm very excited to see how it looks tomorrow morning. I hope I haven't royally screwed it up. I'll check back with you in the morning and give you an update on how it's doing. But a few fun tasks we'll get to do together in the meantime. My brother and I will most likely be getting my niece's Easter basket ready. My brother's picked out some goodies for her. I've picked out some goodies for her. My mom has picked out some goodies for her. It's just been a whole family affair. Everyone getting so excited to add to her Easter basket. It's so cute. We've got eggs we have to fill before we hide them. And we have a house that needs prepping. And I think that's quite enough to be getting along with. Check back with you in the morning and we'll check on my sourdough. Hi, hello, good morning. I literally just woke up, got dressed, and was walking out to get my breakfast where I left my sourdough starter. I was watching some YouTube videos last night to make sure I was doing it right. I ended up adding a little more water because it wasn't the right consistency. Based on advice from professionals, I put a rubber band where the height of it was so I could see if it changed overnight. Let me show you how much it's changed. Oh boy, it's changed. Here's where my rubber band was. Here is where <laughs> it is. Goodness. That's amazing. I might actually be able to make these cookies today. I might have to make some bread. I do have a bread maker. This worked so much better than I thought. Look at all the bubbles. Apparently that's a good thing. That means it's happy. That means it's fed and it's ready to use. I love it. Oh, I'm so relieved it worked. Okay, it's a little while later. I'm on my lunch break. I'm take my blue light glasses off. I'm about to start making my bread. And the reason my bread maker is all the way over here is because my kitchen is still undergoing a lot of changes and it's really not functional right now. But that's okay because this is where the sun is, which makes a prettier scene for you anyway. I've got my starter. My instruction manual for my bread maker also has a sourdough section. Not only does it show you how to make sourdough bread with a starter, but it also has a sourdough starter recipe down here which I didn't know. Well, I guess screenshot it if you want to.
finished work for the day. My bread is not quite done baking. It's close to it, but I figured while we wait, I have an errand to run that sort of has to do with Easter. We're basically trying to get stuff out of the house. If we're gonna clean, we're gonna declutter while we're at it, and I've got a box of old kids' books that needs to go to the library, so I'm gonna run and see if they'll take them, and I figure that'll help us pass the time until my sourdough bread is done, which I'm so excited, I can't wait. Oh, speaking of that, I might get out a stick of butter so that it's nice and room temperature by the time I need to put it on a loaf of bread. Man, I'm really doing a poor job of this one-handed. There we go. <laughs> Book delivery has been made. They took them, no problem. There was one librarian in there who was a little bit older and just so sweet. She showed me where to put all the book donations and she was complimenting me on how nice the book quality was. They were all just kids books that my niece had grown out of. A lot of them I bought her or got donated to me and then gifted to her. I just didn't feel good about taking them to Goodwill. And then my dad mentioned, well you can take them to the library, you know? I hadn't even considered that. I've never donated any books to the library before and I'm kind of regretting that. I think in the future, I'd like to do that with my books. They don't pay you or anything like Half Price does or One Dollar Book Swap, you get in-store credit. You don't get anything for it except a feel-good feeling, but I feel like it's a good way to help your community give back a little bit. Before we head home, I have been given a last-minute errand to run while I'm out and about. Mom is in need of tiny potatoes. I was gonna go to Aldi anyway, so I'm gonna go and pick them up there, and then we'll head back home. Groceries secure. In fact, let me secure them a little bit better <laughs> by seat belting them in. I bought myself some flowers. I just needed something to brighten my day. I don't want to bring the vlog down by having a car chat with you, but I also kind of do just in case someone else is struggling the same way and it might be nice to hear that you're not alone. Everyone has blue days. That's incredibly normal and very human. Mine usually consist of either feeling single, feeling behind in life, feeling like nothing's going right or everything's going right for everybody but me. Usually those are not accurate thoughts to have, especially the last one. Whenever that one pops up, I'm really trying to, if I can't write it down, speak it or create a list in my head of all the things that I do have that I'm grateful for. Because fun fact, Gratitude and the feeling of ungratefulness cannot exist at the same time. Your brain physically can't do both. And I think that's really cool and definitely by design. So if you're feeling low, one of the best things you can do is create a gratitude list of all the things you're thankful for, all the things you have or may take for granted because you're used to having them. My mom is really good about doing that for me. She's my unpaid therapist, bless her heart. <laughs> Anytime I'm like, man, I just feel so behind. I feel like I'm not accomplishing what I want out of life as fast as everyone else. She's the one to say, now hold on. Look at what you do have. You have an incredible job that is a dream come true that you never thought you'd get. You have incredible friends who are lifelong and aren't gonna go anywhere. A lot of people can't even say they have one friend who is lifelong and won't go anywhere. I've got an incredibly supportive family. See, I'm going through my gratitude list of things I'm thankful for right now. And the reason I'm telling you this is not to fish for compliments or encouragement at all. It's just to be open and transparent and say that it's okay if you have days like that too. It's normal, we're human, everyone's gonna have low days. The important thing is what we do when we have those low days. I have a lot of go-to things that get me out of my own head, but I've gotta say a gratitude list is the one that works the fastest and works consistently every time. So just wanted to share that in case that helps you with your low days. If you've got a notebook that you've been saving for a special occasion, maybe this is that special occasion. Make it your gratitude journal. Especially with Easter coming up, the hope of that holiday alone, what it stands for, why we celebrate it in the first place, a selfless sacrifice in an empty tomb, that is a whole gratitude list all on its own. Thanks for having this car chat with me. I appreciate it. I'm gonna smell my flowers one more time. Oh, so nice. 
feels like spring. I'm gonna go home, drop off these groceries, and check on my sourdough loaf. Okay, 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 I haven't even taken off my jacket. I immediately rushed in, got my loaf of bread out, and sliced into it. I put butter and salt on it. I'm gonna do a first taste. I'm so excited. Mmm, it tastes like bread. It tastes really good. I sliced it a bit thick, but woohoo, it worked! I made sourdough bread for the first time ever. I'm gonna munch on the rest of this and just wind down for the rest of the evening. Hello loves, fresh day, fresh hair, fresh clothes, just in time to put together my niece's Easter basket with Mama Joy. Would you like to say hi? No. <laughs> hello, hello. There you go. This is her little Easter basket. We never did cut the tag off. Did you notice that? <laughs> it's like mini pearl Easter basket. <laughs> Probably know your friends don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't think I know who that is. <laughs> there was a television show. It was called Hee Haw. And on the show was Minnie Pearl. Yeah, Minnie Pearl. I knew that. And she always wore a hat. And she had a tag on and it. Tag we saw a statue on. of that in Nashville. It was a bronze statue and she had the tag and everything. Always had the tag on. We've got these cute little finger puppets. We're putting one each in her eggs. And then there's a family too. Grandma, Grandpa, brother, sister. Oh, cute. Grandpa doesn't have any hair. I know. <laughs> That's not like Papa here. <laughs> Papa has a lot of hair. <laughs> But it is gray. It is gray. <laughs> Auntie Cassie That's has it. black I hair. <laughs> and a bun. These are not very accurate representations of our family. No, but I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> so this could be daddy. Yep. Daddy. <laughs> Maybe it's not our family. Maybe it's <laughs> just <laughs> a family. <laughs> She changed her face so fast. She was making the eye rolliest face at me that I switched the camera on. It's like when you are on a phone call and you're like talking to your kids, like, you, 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 hello. It's the same thing when I turn the camera on. They're just like, you, you, you. <laughs> Loves. It's a little while later. Mom has kindly agreed to help me bake these sourdough chocolate cookies. I'll try to link it in the description box for you in case any of you want to try it yourselves. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never baked with sourdough before other than my bread loaf. So this could go one of two ways. <laughs> very, very well, but very, very badly. Which way do you think it'll go, Mom? It's going to be wonderful. Oh, I love a positive attitude. Let's see. <laughs> We've been battling the grams versus ounces versus tablespoons conversion. It's a pain in the bazooka. <laughs> Amen. I've never put that much vanilla in any no, that's what it says. Gonna be not keto, folks. Not even remotely. <laughs> Hello, editing Cassie here. I was looking over the footage of Easter Sunday and realized that I didn't film enough to really warrant a whole segment of that day. And I also didn't end the vlog properly, so there's that. But the footage is so cute, I thought I would still include it, but leave it as a montage to end the vlog with. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my goodness, look at the difference. We're gonna fill this up with all of our ingredients. I need your help. Can you fill this with water? Okay. You can use the fridge. Wait, I'll get the camera. Good job. That's one. 
need Hit. two of those. What the hell that is? That is oh. oil. Bye-bye's girlfriend, yes. Bye-bye's girlfriend? I'm not a bye-bye girlfriend. Popeye. Wow! Nice! So many flowers. <laughs> I know what to do. Oh no! <laughs> we are hiding in the eggs. I never did a taste test of these sourdough cookies, so I thought I would do that for you right now. That's so good. Ooh, it's the perfect mix of salty and sweet. Oh, those are sinfully good. Thank you. 